Hello everybody and welcome back to Golden Sun with myself and Base 6286. And we are ready to start in our next sort of kind of dungeon which is the Kalama Forest which ironically has weaker enemies than the Mercury Lighthouse does so this should be a piece of cake for us. We shall own everything. They have like bees which I mean boo you know like like 19 experience and the other ones were giving us I think 30 experience so yeah they really suck piece of cake that's one less thing we have to worry about at least it's been a while since I practiced so I'll be all shabby what's going on again oh yeah <laughs> well I'm not I'm not that out of the loop <laughs> I'm not like I don't know what's going on guys but you know where are we what's this place what game are we playing? I don't know. <laughs> what time era are we in? What's my name? No. <laughs> That'd be pretty dangerous if you forgot your name. That, that would be pretty awful. The first part of the forest is really easy, though. Just pushing dead logs everywhere. And uh, most of these don't even do anything. You, you don't even really need to move them, for the most part. Um, it's just when we get later on into the forest, that's a total pain. You can sense the puzzles coming already. <laughs> My puzzle sense is tingling. So there's not really much to say about this place, really. It's just your your run-of-the-mill puzzle with using logs, you know, as blocks. So conveniently fallen trees. And these, and I mean, these ones here are rather self-explanatory, like I said. But later on, we'll get into some puzzles that are really annoying to deal with. So. Real head scratchers. I think we tried to figure it out the other day, and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. And then I couldn't actually see what was going on for a bunch of it, so I'm like, uh, do this thing? Damn you, Skype. Yeah. There we go. Simple as pie. Mmm, pie. Mmm, numbers. <laughs> numbers? <laughs> yeah. I get it. Were those he floating head things in the last place too? Mm, I don't know actually. I thought I s we've seen them before. Couldn't tell you. I don't remember. Wow. All right, so here is the annoying part of this. You've got these four logs that you have to arrange in a certain order to get over to this side to get to the next screen and then over to that side there which contains a treasure which IMO isn't even that good, but I can't just not get it. It's, it would just drive me nuts. It must be gotten. It must be received, so I gotta lower this first. All the water. Which drains really fast. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Super fast. Uh, horizontal... The only way I remember horizontal from vertical is that I think of horizontal as a horizon. Well, isn't that where it comes from? I don't know, but that's the only way I would remember. <laughs> Maybe horizon comes from horizontal. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, down. Right. Left. Don't screw me up. <laughs> up. Over. Around. <gasps> oh, man. That's fancy. Alright, so that's actually all set up the way that that is now. Because you can't move this one, which is the pain. It's there to tease you. But yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty simple once you figure it out, but you have no idea how long I tried to figure that out on my own, and then after a while, I'm like, screw it! I'm sick of this! <sighs> that fills up really fast, too. Like, that's gotta be, like, thousands of gallons of water in just, like, one second. Welcome to video game land. <laughs> Clearly, the creators have never filled a pool. No logic required. Or even a bathtub. You know how long it takes to fill a friggin' bathtub? Yeah. Oh, well. More convenient for us. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to wait a long time. You just sit there like, oh yeah, have a nap, you know. Wait for all this water to fill up. Imagine if you actually had to wait real time for the entire thing to fill up and drain. And then you kept getting the puzzle wrong and ah, uh, I'd go insane. 
Let's just have a picnic in this nice forest, shall we? <laughs> and that should allow us to get out of here. We don't even need that other log. Screw that one. I can just stay there. All by its lonesome. Poor log. Forever alone. <laughs> I feel like I'm reminded of a song, but I'm not sure. Oh. I can't think of what you're thinking, obviously. I, I don't have Ivan's mind readability. <laughs> I don't think that would work through the internet either. No. Holy crap, it's these trees! What's up? Who are you? I met you People. earlier. You, you tried to turn us into trees? Yeah. Oh, you were the ones who resisted tree its glamour. <laughs> I sense a great warmth within you. If you came to rescue Treat, you are already too late. Says you. Says you. Nothing is impossible. Soon Treat will die, and we will wither away without him. Leave now before this forest is destroyed. But I don't wanna. I, I, I don't give up that easily. If you read her mind... The healing water of Mercury Lighthouse might save Triet, but the fountain's waters have long since dried up. And that is why we went to Mercury Lighthouse first. Because if you come here first, you're going to have to come here only to find out that you have to go to the Mercury Lighthouse to get the water. And it is a huge pain in the ass. So we got the water last time we were there. We've got it here. Aww. So. Well, he's, he, he's not going to talk to you. Room, he will not speak to you, child. I control all in Trit's realm. Mind realm. <laughs> yeah, mind realm. Place. So this tree's got like a split personality. Eh, uh, tree split. That's... <laughs> I see what happened there. See what you did there. Unfortunately, I'm not funny at all. I try, but it's just... That's... Eh, you know... Someone out there will laugh. Someone out there will be like, oh, that's lame. What's really annoying about this is that you have to walk for it to uncover. I don't know why the game did that, because it doesn't even make any sense, but I don't, know, I don't know why that purpose is. But like over here, I think it's just all dead ends, but I decided to check it out anyways. And then we want to go this way. And these leaves, you can only step on them once. If you step on them again, you'll fall down to the floor below you. So you have to take the correct path, or else you die. <laughs> Impending doom awaits you. Uh, okay, so we gotta go up that tree vine ladder thing. Yeah, is that is that going up or is that going across? Up and across, I guess. Uh, up hmm. and over. I don't know. It must be up because now we're on a different level of it, I guess. Yeah. I don't think we've seen- well, we've seen these guys, but they're different from what we saw, um, earlier. Even though they look the same, they're called something different. Yeah, th this game will do that. They'll, like, recycle sprites a lot. And as you can see, Ivan did a lot of damage, so wind the damage is gonna do a lot here. What's annoying about this is that you have to- you have to fall down to the, fl the floor below you in order to get these treasure chests. Or that treasure chest and the Siren Energy Stone if you were gonna get it. Which is really annoying, and just- yeah, the Synergy Stone is almost pointless, because you get it, you restore your Synergy, but then you're going to use it up again trying to get back to where you were. Well, exactly. Luckily, you don't take fall damage when you fall, though. That is nice. Which is nice. The game was, you know, not obnoxious enough to do that to you. Okay. Now, there is a there is a gin around here somewhere. Somewhere. Over the rainbow. Oh, never mind. I see where it is. There's a vine up there I can climb, but I just didn't see it until now. There we go. Cleverly hidden. Because the south end is a complete dead end, so you can't really go anywhere. Plus there's like a lot of vines just sticking out of the walls around here. Yeah, they're just, they just do it to troll. They're like, hey, little kids, go this way. No, just kidding, go that way instead. <laughs> we tricked you, uh, uh. Why you no like me, tree? Curses. I think the the gin is over here. All right, so you were right. We have to go south to get the gin. Is it south or is it east or is south lead east? W what? <laughs> uh, never mind. I answered my own question. My friend. <laughs> Boom. I can smell the smoke from here. 
Yeah, it's this way. So it's south, but then it goes to the east. This damn tree yeah. and its damn confusing directions. How dare it confuse ah. me. And it's odd leaves. Like, what What makes the leaves disappear anyways? We have, like, some kind of force field around us that's, like... I don't know. It's just, it's just there to be annoying, I guess. Uh, is this the first uh, wind gin that we found outside of Ivan? Uh, no, we found one in underneath. Oh, that's right. Billabin. Well, we had to move that statue. We found that one. And that one didn't fight us, though. It was nice and friendly. <laughs> it's just like, I'm scared. Please don't kill me. I'll join you. It's like, okay, I like you. You're my favorite type of gym. And of course that one didn't run away either, which was nice. I find that they really don't run away that often. Or they try to, but then they're not successful. Yeah. Alright, so that is Breeze. So you can see if I kept it on Isaac, he'd get some really, really... Not really cool spells, because all these ones don't really do a lot of damage, like Weaken, Delude, and Sleep. Whereas if I kept his current side energy, it's a lot more physical attacks, and he'd also lose the ability to cure, which is also a big bummer, so... I'm gonna give it to Ivan. And we get some sweet stat boost. He, he gets like 10 plus to his attack, which is awesome. So... Especially with that, uh, whatever blade he has on now. That he keeps Vorpal slashing with. It's pretty wicked. And we got another nut! Yay! So many. <laughs> so many. One of the most common uh, items, I think. At least that's what it feels like. Uh, vials are also pretty common once you get later on into the game and they restore more HP. I think I could have gone and I could have walked on those leaves over there because basically we're going back up to that room but we're gonna go on the other side and we have to pick the right leaf to fall down. Mm, yeah, so we need that vine. Yeah, I think we need to go to this side. Oh, and this, isn't it like a little hopping puzzle or something? Where you have to hop on the right bees? See, now we're back up here. Because I think you can just go like up right, up right, left. Yeah, I think I think it's this one. We'll find out. Yes. There we go. So you climb all the way up the tree only to come down to the very, very bottom. Beneath everything. In the root system. How silly is that? <laughs> What's with this guy's this noises? <laughs> You, you hope to find my kindly self? I was gonna say kindly self, and I was like, wait, that's not right. <laughs> Fools! You should never have come here, and now you shall never leave! <laughs> Your powers protected you in the forest. But now you are in the heart of my power. Here you all become trees, and you'll wither with the rest of us. Somehow that doesn't seem very evil, like turning everybody into a tree. I don't know why, but I was like, that's what's... It, it seems kind of, like, nice and sweet, almost. Like, I'm gonna turn you all into pretty trees now. Except for the whole dying part. That's not really anything I'm, I'm too into, but... Yeah, that's true, I guess. Uh, this boss has... A, not I wouldn't say a lot less HP than Sadaros did, but he's certainly got... Less. I think he's got about 800. So. Compared to. Saturus had like 2,000, right? Something. Yeah, it's around there. I think he had a little bit less than that. I think he had about 1,500, but still. The point is, it's a lot less. Um, what's kind of good is that you go, you'll go to the. If you go to the lighthouse first, you'll get all that experience, all those levels and things like that, and then you'll come here and it's a total piece of cake. And being that this guy's a tree, you can use Garrett's Psy Energy to do some good damage, so... You know, he's a tree, but I always wondered why he just looks like a floating face. That always seemed odd to me. I, yeah, I think it's just because it's like his evil spirit or his evil side. Because that's technically what this guy is. It's kind of like his evil... His evil self kind of thing. It's true. So... You can see he's not really doing much damage. It's kind of... Kind of pitiful, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like nothing. He's like doing all this stuff, and it's not 
doing anything. It's just like, oh, you are so disappointing. <laughs> so I'm just doing whatever here, basically. I'm not really worried. As you can see, that that was really easy. Da -da -da -da! I love the level up music. It's awesome. It is pretty victorious sounding. Pretty victorious sounding. <laughs> Good words. Indeed. Oh, hmm. What has happened to me? Was I? I see, my heart was all but lost in my rage. And you defeated the evil within me. I thank you. I could not leave this world with so much evil in my heart. I am free now to leave the world without regret. Goodbye, great warriors. Hey, wait a minute. We can't let Tret die like this. That's right, Isaac. We still need his help. What? <laughs> I love his what? <laughs> Why have you not left me to my dying? Do you need something? <laughs> Do you need something? Just let me die already. It just sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I turned the people of Colma into trees? Hmm. I must release them before they die with the forest. That would be kind of nice. So now he's gonna work his sparkly twilight magic and fix them. <laughs> I can't do it. My power no longer reaches Coloma. People of Coloma, forgive me. Oh no! That's too weak. He doesn't have the power to save Coloma. Or Tret. That? <laughs> that? <laughs> no, we have to heal him. We can't let the people of Kalma die with the forest. Every life in Kalma depends on us. That's some heavy stuff. We have to restore a tree and save the people of Kalma. Let's go, Isaac. All right, so now we can get the hell out of this tree because it's kind of weird. We're like inside this tree that's kind of like a man. It's kind of strange. It's like uh. The Deku Tree. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I guess in the next episode we will see what's going to happen with Triet and the fate of all the people he's turned into trees. Ooh, cliffhanger! Ah. See you all later. Bye.